Hello, everyone. My name is Tara Mina. I'm a PhD candidate working with Professor Grace Gao at the Navigation Autonomous Vehicles Lab at Stanford University. And today I'll be talking about our work on GPS proving resilient filtering with Chimera and self contained odometry. So five years ago, the AFRL developed the CHIPS Message Robust Authentication or Chimera Signal Enhancement for GPS L1C to protect users from GPS spoofing attacks. And Chimera will be broadcast and tested for the first time on the on NTS3, which is scheduled to launch next year. And if implemented, it'll be the first uh, GPS authentication service available for all users. And Chimera cryptographically signs the, G the L1C spreading code by inserting markers directly into the code sequence. And these markers can't be predicted beforehand, but they can be verified with a digital signature, which users can receive through one of two channels. So through the slow channel, users with only access to GPS can get the signature once every three minutes, and users with access to an additional out-of-band source can uh, get the fast channel keys once every 1.5 or six seconds. However, with either channel, the Chimera service is not continuously available and users will have to wait a short delay before they can authenticate their received GPS signal. However, moving receivers often rely on much faster GPS update rates of between one and 20 Hertz. So when users receive the Chimera signal, they have to make a decision, either wait for authentication for up to three minutes for the slow channel, in which case they'll ensure security, but at the cost of degraded performance. Or users can use the real-time GPS measurements before getting authentication, in which case they'll sacrifice security, but have improved performance when GPS is authentic. And as an example for an IMU GPS filter framework, over 300 meters of error were observed with the slow channel as compared to just one and a half meters when using the real-time measurements. So we see this trade-off between two key navigation objectives. One is ensuring security uh, while also improving real-time performance. And prior work has been done on spoofing detection and mitigation for standalone receivers, including monitoring the received signal quality and power. However, this approach might be sensitive to sudden signal power changes from the environment, and it often relies on successful detection at the onset of the attack. Uh, prior works have also looked at consistency checking with self-contained sensors like an IMU or a wheel encoder. And oftentimes this doesn't require any additional equipment since moving receivers frequently already use these additional sensors for navigation. However, with the current unencrypted GPS, a key limitation is that these sensors will eventually drift and a patient spoofer can eventually induce large errors over time. But with Chimera, the spoofer is limited to the duration of time between authentication. So that limits the extent of error that can be induced without triggering detection, either through consistency checking or through authentication failure. And few prior works have looked at spoofing mitigation, but these works also often focus on strategies on eliminating spoofing induced errors upon detection. However, one might experience spoofing-induced errors even before an attack is officially declared, either through a misdetection or a delay in the detection. So in this work, we propose a novel adaptive GPS spoofing resilient filter, which balances between enhancing navigation performance while maintaining resilience against spoofing-induced errors. It also leverages the Chimera authentication, the self-contained sensors and the vehicle dynamics to determine the trustworthiness of the received GPS signal. It um, also applies um, a spoofing resilient weighting scheme for the unauthenticated GPS measurements, which extends M estimation in order to assess a set of GPS measurement residuals. And it demonstrates faster and more effective spoofing mitigation performance than a series of alternative adaptive filters in a simulated test environment under various degrees of attacks. And to the best of our knowledge, this is the first adaptive filter proposed for Chimera GPS, which actually uses the real-time measurements. So first I'll provide a background on M estimation since we use an extension of this in our robust estimation approach. Then I'll discuss our proposed spoofing resilient filter before presenting experimental results and summarizing this work. So starting with M estimation, 
Um, estimation generalizes least squares estimation by modifying the cost function to be robust to outliers or extreme observations. And this cost function can be converted to a weight function, uh, which takes in a scalar residual and outputs a weight between zero and one. So the left plot here shows the cost function for least squares and three other M estimators, Huber, Hampel, and Tukey. And their corresponding weight function is on the right. And we can see that least squares assigns a large weight to large magnitude residuals, whereas the M estimators downweigh these residuals for more robust estimation. Uh, we also notice that the weight function is symmetric and it's a piecewise function of the absolute residual. So for the Huber weight function, for example, we see that after the absolute residual reaches a critical threshold, then we begin to assign less weight to that residual. Uh, so now I'll go over the proposed framework, starting with the high-level architecture, then the trusted measurement update, the smoothing resilient update, followed by a deeper overview on how our framework works. So we first perform state propagation with the vehicle dynamics, then a uh, measurement update with the trusted self-contained sensor measurements. Then we compute the GPS measurement innovation from the unauthenticated uh, GPS measurements, and that determines the consistency of the received signal with the self-contained sensor measurements. And from the innovation and the periodic chimera authentication, once it's available, we assess the trustworthiness of the received GPS signal, and then apply a corresponding weight factor for the resilient GPS measurement update. So now we'll go into more depth about each component of this framework. For the trusted measurement update, we do a traditional extended Kalman filter or EKF propagation step using the vehicle dynamics and an EKF update with the self-contained sensor measurements. And these steps leverage the fact that we can trust these self-contained information sources. And from this updated state, for any unauthenticated GPS measurements, we evaluate the innovation and its covariance using the uh, nominal GPS measurement covariance. And this innovation reflects the consistency between the GPS measurements and our state estimate after the trusted measurement update. And for the resilient update, uh, we maintain a window of past GPS measurement innovations and covariances, which are gamma and S here. And then we evaluate the test statistic Q, which is the sum of normalized squared innovations. So note that um, under nominal conditions, this is a central chi-square distributed random variable where we denote NQ as the degrees of freedom. But rather than thresholding the statistic, we develop a weight metric. So we evaluate P, which is a square root of Q. And this is in fact a norm of uh, the multivariate residual vector since Q is the sum of squared innovations. Then with this norm, we evaluate the weight using the M estimator weight function. So let's examine this step further with a concrete weight function. So here we have the Huber weight function, which we evaluate with respect to the multivariate norm P. And the challenge, oh. So here we have the Huber weight function, which we evaluate with respect to the multivariate norm P. And the challenge comes that the threshold tau was originally meant to be for a scalar standard normal residual. However, now the dimensionality depends on the degrees of freedom and Q, which varies with the window size and the number of measurements at each time step. So to evaluate the trustworthiness of the current set of GPS measurements, we want to generalize the weight function and choose a threshold that makes sense for a multivariate residual with potentially different degrees of freedom. So let's consider the probability of this condition of the piecewise function. Because P is a norm, we can equate this to a probability of the chi-square test statistic Q by squaring both sides. And we can now denote this probability with the variable alpha, which represents a confidence level for the first condition. Uh, and we can choose our, ch our threshold tau to be consistent with respect to a particular confidence level alpha. But note that this probability here is actually just the CDF of the chi-squared random variable Q. So we can easily solve for the threshold um, given the degrees of freedom and the desired confidence level. And finally, the filter also leverages the periodic chimera authentication once it's available. So if authentication is successful, 
for a short window afterwards, we automatically set the weight to be one to increase trust in the received GPS signal. And uh, with the final uh, weighting factor, we shape the influence of the GPS measurement in the state estimation by scaling the covariance matrix in the EKF update. So when the weight is a maximum of one, we use the nominal covariance, but as it decreases, we correspondingly inflate the covariance and reduce how much the filter relies on that received measurement. So now that we've gone over our spoofing resilient filter framework here, we provide a deeper overview and intuition on how it works. So note that traditional M estimation weighs the influence of individual GPS measurements across the given set. Whereas for our framework, we weigh a set of GPS measurements across time. So because common filtering is a recursive minimum mean square error estimator, similar to least squares estimation, it also heavily weighs outlier and extreme measurements. As a result, in our framework, we downweigh extreme measurements over time in order to reduce their influence on the Kalman filter state estimate. So in particular, if the weighting factor is downweigh recent extreme GPS measurements, the filter will rely more heavily on its past state estimates, which incorporate the influence of the more heavily weighted past GPS measurements. And our, our M estimation based weight function also uses the fact that a stealthy spoofer is self consistent uh, by assigning a single weight to the set of GPS measurements, and it also incorporates the chimera authentication information. So now I'll go over our experimental validation results. We validate our resilient filter in a simulated test environment. In particular, we wanted a controlled environment to first compare the performance of our filter with an array of baselines test various case study scenarios, and also examine the performance of these filters over multiple rollouts. We assume the user has access to the three minute Chimera slow channel, and we look at two epochs, so six minutes in total. Uh, we evaluate the mean position errors during authentic and spoofing conditions, and additionally examine 20 case studies in total, including different vehicle trajectories, grades of IMU, and different levels of spoofing attacks, each of which gradually ramps the linear acceleration error. But due to limited time, we'll only present a subset of these results, but the complete set can be found in our conference paper. We model the ground vehicle as a Dubin's car, and the self-contained sensors include an accelerometer, gyroscope, and wheel encoder. For the GPS measurements, we simulate satellite positions and velocities from ephemeris uh, with standard deviations of six meters and one meter per second for the pseudo range and pseudo range rates. We also look at the performance of a series of baseline filters. The color coding for each filter is also indicated on the left hand side. Um, the naive filter is a conventional EKF that directly uses the GPS measurements. The odometry only filter only relies on the self-contained sensor measurements during the Chimera epoch, but if authentication is successful, it updates its state according to the naive filter uh, state estimate. The chi-square detector switching filter uses GPS until it detects spoofing through the chi-square statistic, and we look at two false alarm rate thresholds for this. The common gain scaling filter is a heuristic filter, which uses the confidence level associated with the chi-squared statistic in order to scale the Kalman gain for each GPS measurement update. And the adaptive measurement covariance filter continuously estimates the GPS measurement covariance matrix over time using the innovations. And for our proposed spoofing resilient filter, we examine the performance of three different M estimator weight functions, the Huber, Tukey, and Hanfell. So here we look at the mean position areas over time across 10 rollouts for a particular attack scenario. The vertical gray lines are the chimera authentication times and the, rat, the red dashed line is the start of the ramp spoofing attack. And we first see that during the chimera epoch, the odometry only filter and periwinkle, uh, which uses the IMU wheel encoder and vehicle dynamics model, uh, it still accumulates over 100 meters of error. And during the simulated attack, the naive filter in green accumulates hundreds of meters of error. And we see that the Huber spoofing resilient filter in purple only shows marginally better performance. And the adaptive measurement covariance filter in pink still accumulates a significant amount of error. And uh, zooming into this part of the graph, 
we see that the chi-squared switching detector filters show better spoofing mitigation performance since they stop using GPS once an attack is detected. But the common gain scaling filter shows improved mitigation since, as we can see towards the beginning of the attack, um, this filter begins to downweigh the effect of GPS measurements even before the false alarm threshold is met and attack is officially declared. And finally, we see the best mitigation performance from the proposed 2P and Hampel filters, uh, which consistently show smaller navigation errors throughout the duration of the attack. And here we plot the mean position estimation errors over 10 rollouts and over time for a particular test scenario. On this log log plot, the x-axis indicates a position error during spoofing and the y-axis indicates error when GPS is authentic. And the different markers as shown in the legend at the top correspond to different levels of spoofing attacks. So we observe that for the naive filter in dark green, while it performs well when GPS is authentic with low positioning errors in the y-axis dimension, it has significantly uh, greater positioning errors during an experienced spoofing attack, shifting it to the right on the x-axis. But with the odometry-only filter and periwinkle, if we look at the spread of the position errors over the range of different attack levels, we see that it does have significantly less error during spoofing conditions, but it also has much higher error even when GPS is authentic. And the chi-square switching filters have better resilience, but with larger false alarm rate, um, the, the, for the larger false alarm rate one in orange, we have uh, occasional false alarms that lead to worse errors during authentic conditions. And then if we zoom into the remaining filter error um, points, um, we see that the 2 pm handful spoofing resilient filters in brown and sky blue have the lowest mean errors during spoofing for all attack levels while maintaining low mean errors during authentic conditions. We also see that if we compare um, each spoofing attack level between the hand belt and the common gain scaling filter, for each case, the hand belt filter has strictly better positioning accuracy during spoofing while maintaining comparable accuracies during authentic conditions. So in this work, we proposed a novel GPS spoofing resilient filter framework, which leverages Chimera and self-contained sensors to assess a level of trust to assign GPS measurements uh, through an extension of M estimation weight functions. And to the best of our knowledge, this is the first adaptive spoofing resilient filter proposed for Chimera GPS, which actually uses the real-time uh, GPS measurements. Uh, we validated our framework in a simulated environment under various degrees of spoofing attacks and showed that our Tukey and Hamfell filters showed better mitigation than a series of alternative adaptive filters while having comparable navigation accuracy when GPS is authentic as filters that continuously trust and use the real-time measurements. And as a result, we showed that our framework both demonstrates navigation security and attack resilience while seeking to also improve the real-time navigation performance. We would like to thank Bradley Kolikot and Shubh Gupta, as well as our sponsors for supporting this research. Thank you.